All right, today I'm going to show you how to step and repeat your artwork in a downline properly. First, just have your downline made and ready to go inside Adobe Illustrator. The downline that I am using has a two-step and it repeats three times. The die cut itself is a 2 by 2 inch rounded square with a corner radius of 0.125. And as we all know, uh, there is a 1 8 inch gap between all of these squares. So basically, I made my first square and then I stepped it to the right 2.125 and I repeated it down 2.125. Now it won't be the same for all the die cuts, it depends on the dimensions of your die cuts. Okay, once I do that, before I place my artwork in here, I am going to put guides on these squares. So just select your squares and then go to view and go to guides and then go to make guides. And then once they're still selected, you want to go back to view, and then down to guides again, and lock guides. This way you won't be able to select your squares, and you won't move them out of place by accident. And once I do that, go ahead and place your artwork into the first square. And I am going to repeat it down first, and then I'll step it to the right all at once. So with your artwork selected, go ahead and go to Object, which is located up at the toolbar. And then go to Transform. And then go to Move. So with this dialog box, set Horizontal to 0 and Vertical to 2.125. And then just hit Copy. And then for this, you could go back to Object and then just do Transform, Transform again. Or you could do the shortcut way, which is Control D for a Windows or Command D for a Mac. So once they're all in the first column already, I'm just going to select all these stars. So they're all selected. And then I am going to go to Object, Transform, and Move. And then this time, I'm going to set horizontal to 2.125 and vertical to do 0. That way it will just move it to the right. So I hit copy and it just completely copy everything to the right. And then once you're finished with this, you could go ahead and distort your document and you can make your film or make the plates and how you do that is you'll just select your whole document and then you want to deselect the barrier bars which you just hold shift and click on them to deselect them and they're deselected and then you'll just go to object transform scale and then you want to choose non-uniform and leave horizontal to 100 and then change vertical. Now depending on which tooth you're using, I'm using a 51 tooth so I will set the vertical to 93.89 and just hit OK and it will distort your document and there you have it.